Yes, this is an unboxing. I think this is the tiniest unboxing I have done. <laughs> With the world's at its weird state right now, I genuinely have not been doing unboxing videos because I haven't really been getting much for packages, but slowly things have been coming in the mail, and this is definitely one of the small ones. What could possibly be in a box this size? It's funny because I denied getting into this scale of model a long time ago. Someone said don't do it, you will regret it, you will fall in love with them, and you'll end up with a hundred of them and I said no I won't I don't like the scale well here we are unboxing <laughs> and I'll show you my collection none other than a tiny tiny horse I have no idea what his name is he's an American Saddlebred micro mini cast in pewter so he's got a bit of weight to him which I kind of like the pewter ones because they stand up a little easier than the resin ones. He literally looks like a Hamilton, but like miniature. Tiny, tiny. <laughs> kind of looks like a Tennessee walking horse. I'm not really sure what breed she was supposed to be. I think it was called Bangles, the original one. I've recently gotten into micros because I figured out that they only take about a day to paint and they're a lot more impressive than kind of other scales of artwork. They're cheap. These guys are only about $40 each to buy blank and they can sell for upwards of $300 so it's a pretty good business proposition I would say. So let's go see the rest of my micro collection that is ever growing. Ta-da! A micro mini collection. This guy is kind of funny because they're next to Pierre and Pierre is one of the larger sized traditional scale resins. I actually do have this Juggernaut as well, our Micronaut, but as you can see he has two or three <laughs> repairs on him that aren't quite complete yet because uh, I dropped him so he took a tumble and unfortunately didn't make it. <laughs> so there's the two that I just opened now. Uh, I have Williams here. I believe this guy is called Wahoo. This is the, I'm not even sure what she is, but she has a huge pinhole in her nose. That's not a nostril there, that's a pinhole. And this one is the Gypsy Vanner, who I dropped, and so her ears are smashed. <laughs> and then I have Timkin, I think her name is. So that's my little mini herd. They are just so much fun. 